persons for their distinguished Christian service. Reverend Dr. Elisa Gold, President of Chin Christian University, to officiate, confirm, officiate, confirm. We are playing song, long plan for the future, days of pay practice association. Dear friend, our model of the church is an large association of the churches. Please be seated. 
Bachelor of Arts in English Language Studies, BAE program. May I ask you to stand up, please? Dr. Song, Emmanuel Baptist Church, Hakka Baptist Association. Remchin Song, Langua Baptist Church, DABC. Langtang Association of Baptist Churches. Switching so Lock Room Baptist Church, Hakka Baptist Association.
Moses Dian, no to Zung Hun Block, Zung Hun War, and Tan. Moon Kibor, Hirota War, Haka. Susan, Hirota War, Haka. Hong Jin Tang, Hirota War, Haka. Zaharian, they take both or a car. Zingdo Zer, Paizong Street, Hirota or a car.
Please be seated. Thank you all. Brothers and sisters, I, Henry Shango, the president of the Christian University, hereby announce that by the authority vested by the Board of Trustees, upon the recommendation of the Faculty Council, Chief Christian University confers a relief degree to seven students. BGA to 10 students, Diploma in Theology Subjects to 17, BMA to 2, BA to 3, BBA to 12, Diploma in English 10, Diploma in Business Administration 42, and Master in Literature to 2 distinguished persons. On this day, 17 March, the year of the Lord, 2019. May God bless you all. Thank you. This is me. Thank you. Now I'm pleased to invite Reverend Dr. Lel Beglian, the Church Pastor of Emmanuel Baptist Church, to pray for all the graduates. May I request all the graduating students to make a stand from your seat. loving God. We thank you for this special occasion, celebrating the 26th commencement exercises. We are grateful for your sons and daughters who are standing before you. They are ready to go into the world, to be your witness and to extend your kingdom. Fill them with your Holy Spirit that they may have enough courage to overcome any temptation and be able to face any challenge. Let them be a good example for our community. Help them to be wise leaders and influencer in this generation, not conformed to the world, but conformed by your power. Help them to live as salt and light in this world. We ask for your power, power to help them to walk continually in honesty and integrity. Make their hearts and spirits open to every plans and purpose you have for them, and to be willing to boldly go wherever you call. Lord, we pray that you would give them help physically, emotionally, and spiritually. And would protect them from disease, illness, or any harm to their minds and spirits. Lord, we pray that you would give them wisdom and directions in making decisions and in each new day situation and journey you have for them now. Teach them to listen closely to your voice, that they would have a heart to obey your word and have a desire to make the right choices. May the sense of the friendness of your Holy Spirit over their lives in amazing way. Allow them to give and treasure you have placed inside your life to grow develop and flourish to bring you glory. We pray that when they encounter various struggles and difficult times, when they experience loss and things don't go their way, 
that you will teach them greater perseverance through it all. Build deeper character, stronger faith, and use any hardship in your life for ultimate good, turning it around for blessing instead. Lord, as Francis of Assisi live out in according with his prayer, we pray that may they also be instrument of your peace where there is hatred. Let them sow love where there is injury, pardon where there is discord, union, where there is doubt, faith, where there is despair, hope, where there is darkness, light, and where there is sadness, joy. Lord, we humbly dedicate your sons and daughters in your hands, accept your life and use them as your as you anoint Isaiah, who says, Lord, here am I, send me. Let them be innovative, entrepreneurial and visionary, and be a living sacrifice for your glory and to our community. Lord, continue to bless Chin Christian University of all our faculty members, staff, student body, sporting churches and organization for your kingdom and glory. We ask all these things in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you. It's an honor to invite Reverend Zammal Moenhun Associate General Secretary of Chin Bhakti Chatters USA to give church to the graduate. Telephone bar award goes to Brem 
Chin Song. She is from BAE final year. Thank you. Now is the time. Now is the time to hear student reflections. I would like to invite Pia Clay Sun from Deep TH, Mary Zanyang Sun from VBA, and Rem Chin Sun from BAE to take your time one after another.
university going up in numbers. It is getting tougher and tougher for our friends from different places to find living accommodations. For that reason, I have discovered from writing this text is that the immediate inaugurations of Pima Hostel is critically hot in Hakka, which I strongly hope will bring about economic profits to both our society and its founding partners. Finally, I would like to conclude by saying that I really do thank Kennedy Oza you living at various locations for supporting and taking care of me throughout my study at Chinese University. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, firstly, I'd like to thank God for giving me hope into a blessing to do my study successfully at Chinese University. And also, I want to thank two presidents, faculty members, working staff, and my supervisor for your love, concern, and guidance for me during my study at CCU. I give an honor to my parents from the deep of my heart for your sparring me both financially and morally throughout my study at CCU. I would like to extend my gratitude to all of my friends for your love and encouragement throughout my study. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about why education is important for children. When we look at our community, there are many young people who are now having education. There might be many reasons for this, but in my opinion, some of parents do not encourage the children to learn in education. Some of parents need to encourage the children to learn in education. In fact, children are the futures of the world. They should be updated with current fear. They are the pillars of the nation to the world of our country. They are the main resources to build the nation with the knowledge and education. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's force the children to learn in education to protect our country. In conclusion, I want to say that only an educated person or education can promote the value of people and nation. Thank you. Thank you. Now we will hear CCU anthem. So I invite all the CCU students to present CCU anthem.
I am so proud of seeing, witnessing beautiful ladies and handsome gentlemen today. I was the founding faculty members of the Chin Christian University, formerly known as the Chin Bible School. We started it in 1919. The school was open, officially open, on the first day of June. But I was tasked by the Chin Association for Christian Education called the CACC to start working from the first day of April 1990. I traveled on to Mandalay two times, to Galenio two times, and to Bangkok one time to be ready to open as a Christian institution, the only one in the whole region of the CACC. When I look back, I see many countless blessings. I am crying in my heart because I can see in my mental eye that the pocket fellow faculty members like Reverend Dr. David Van Dyke, who was the principal of the Children Bible School. Before him, Reverend John Monk was serving as acting principal for the Children Bible School. And Mr. Gabriel Bengo, a great man of God, who was helping the Bible school in whatever he could. And also, I would like to pay tribute to our legendary, a great man of God, Mr. Shango. He was tremendously a good man. I miss him a lot. Among them, only Reverend Dr. Thomas who is still alive. He is residing in Indiana, as of Indiana State, in the United States of America. He is still preaching there, even though he is in his late seventies, maybe in his early eighties. He is being strong, spiritually, even though his physical body is declining, he is still a man of God. Some may wonder about, wonder about the importance of studying theology, the Bible, and the ministry at the Chin Christian University. I have two points. To share with you, and in that regard, my first point is that God holds all things with the power of His word. He is Almighty. His greatness cannot be fathomed. God is our Creator and our Redeemer. He is God all over. He doesn't, doesn't he deserve to be known there? I will repeat it. I will repeat it, this verse. Doesn't he deserve to be known there? Soon, the ones who serve him study and learn about him more effectively. 
even one who chose to be assistant teachers at elementary school or primary school got trained. Even for a small position, they got trained. At CCU, you need four years to obtain bachelor degree and maybe more than two years to get master's degree. And yet, why do some people believe they can serve the Lord without study and without preparation? The Lord Himself trained His disciples three and a half years to assist Him to build the kingdom of God on earth. The leading universities in America began as Christian institution, Harvard University. The name Harvard is the name of a pastor. The best university in America was a Christian institution. Yale University also was started as a Bible school. And also the Princeton University, one of the best in America, the, its founding motto was, with God we prosper. It is also the same in the United Kingdom. Oxford University and Cambridge University and even the oldest university in the whole world, St. Andrews in Scotland. They all were founded for the purpose of training the Christian ministers. My second point is that we need good teachers and ministers. The world is raising so many difficult questions today. Many people have opened up to many things and life has become so much complicated. Atheism is growing. Let me repeat it. Atheism is growing. Temptation and distractions are found in every direction. The gospel must be delivered honestly and with simplicity. Its relevance must be demonstrated. We must address the issues that are driving people away from the Lord and match them where they are in this rapidly changing world. You are now trained and equipped as ministers to be leaders of leaders. Let me, let me repeat that part. You are trained you are trained and equipped to be the leaders of leaders. That is not a small job to carry on. There is a big, big responsibility. God has commissioned you today. You are called and sent to the Lord's field to expand his kingdom by changing life, to help build heaven on earth. You are, are you ready to lead and to serve? Are you ready to be leaders and to be servants? As ministers, let me share a few experience I have accrued. Number one, keep the vision before you. Always keep vision before you.
for you. The fact that you came to J. Christian University and studied theology was not going together. Not accidental either, but part of God's plan for your life. Now, go and find your own calling. It may not necessarily be in a fancy and well-established churches. The Lord may open the door into a strange land with strange inhabitants. Don't be afraid to face the challenges there because you are trained and equipped to change life at the CCU by God through all the great teachers who have installed, who have instilled in you with a large variety of knowledge. Let your professionalism shine with your vision. Try to understand the place where God sends you. Try to understand the people around you that you may know how to make the best recipe to feed the everlasting food which is the gospel. And number two, when spreading the gospel, share your life experiences than just textbook lesson. Pour out your life for others, just as our Lord Jesus Christ did. Jesus was not just a mere teacher, but a friend and a great companion who shared with his disciples sweet time and bitter time of their life. Servants of the Lord should not walk as machine, but as real human beings of flesh and blood who can share their life with others. The Christian message should always be the core of our life. Number three, do not settle for what you have already reached and achieved, but keep working hard and continue learning to keep on track to reach higher and higher. Keep listening for the call of God in your life and continue to refine it. Always try to understand your calling, then the expansion and growth of the kingdom. God, the kingdom will flow out of your commitment and dedicated life. In closing, I want to mention that we are from Chain Association for Christian Communication, particularly from Haka, where the great missionaries from American Baptist churches died and were buried. Faithfully and faithful men, trust, worthiness, honesty, compassion, tolerance, and loving kindness are a symbol of act into our life to those legendary missionaries who served the Lord in our children. They gave us a torch and we have to pass it on to others that they may have eternal life. Proclaim the gospel Body. Share the love of Jesus Christ. Only are you ready? Let's go to the field and let's start to lead and to change the world. God bless you.
Big thanks to Reverend Zamang Waldin, the Associate General Secretary of Timbukti Charges USA, and also to all those who are participating in this afternoon program. So now we are hitting the end of the program. Let's all rise up and sing Kamboshwai Nakiba, which is number two in the bulletin, page number 13. And after that, we will conclude our program by the benediction of Reverend Dr. Stephen Lien Hubling, Senior Pastor of Hakka Bhakti Church.